what I've got going on this afternoon. Uh, oh, this was the builder that I used to do the work for. I came back, worked with the plumber, done the water line and the sewer line here. And then he wanted me to dig out for the front steps that they hadn't got to. So, uh, the only real way to get up here was to run along the top of his retaining wall. Which I told him, you know, there was a chance that it may shift and move and uh, sure enough it did. I don't know if it's, it felt solid behind here. We got a bunch of rain that night afterwards. So, uh, I don't know, like I said, I mean, we kind of worked it out where we didn't really blame one or the other. I mean, I know I ran on top of here and stuff like that, but I told him to make it right. I'd come over here and dig it out. I think he's got a guy come over, over to help. We're gonna try to dig out the backside of it and then it, it, we may be able to lean it back or we may have to just take these blocks down in this section. I don't think the bottom row moved, so it should be still level. It's just the top started pushing out a few inches. So yeah, it's kind of one of those things. Uh, I guess I just felt better to make it right. I just told him I'd come back and do the digging behind it. We can dig it out a couple feet behind it. I'll pile it up here and then take the pressure off of it. We'll get in there and kind of rake the rock and everything away and hopefully stand it back up straight. But it's kind of one of those things. Uh, I don't know, like I said, I knew there was probably a pretty good chance whenever I ran on top of here, but there was no real way to get to the stairs in the front yard because the other side there's a tree in the way and these houses are so close together.
him back and cap some of them out.
But anyway, yes, I would not recommend. <laughs> like I said, we were able to kind of tap it lightly with the boom or the bucket and get it straight back enough. I mean, there's still a little bit of a curve and stuff like that into it, but it's level. It was leaning out where the back of the blocks were higher, so we got it setting back straight. And they can put their caps back on there and kind of straighten that up from there. But uh, yeah, she's bandaged back together for now, so I'm gonna go get their skid. That way I can just scoop up that raw. I'm gonna put some of the rock in there and then rake some more of that dirty clean rock down. And then try to rake the rest of that dirt down and kind of compact it. So we will check back when we're done. That is going to work for this evening. It's still just a little low right there, but I need to bring up a little bit of material from the back, but uh, I'm not going to drive back up on top of there. They're wanting to get their little skid steer, and they may be able to hug along the edge of the house, but they're going to need some more up there at the front when they get the caps on there and around where the steps and stuff are at. So we got it back straight. Uh, that was not ideal and there's still a possibility that it could start leaning back out eventually like i said i tried to kind of pack in as best i could with the bucket the problem is i didn't put a drain behind it i got clean rock that'll help take the pressure off and like i said the water will kind of wick out the front of the blocks but it'd be nice if there was like a four inch pipe kind of sticking out there at the end where it could run out there a little quicker but and you know i tried to stay a foot or so away from kind of packing it down it just if we get some you know decent rains and it kind of packs it in over time it stands a better chance if not it's these monsoons it'll just all the water runs to the back that'll kind of help push it over or if it's soft and they run another excavator or skid steer over the top of it but i think they can kind of hug the side of that house because they got their yard guys got a lot smaller machine than what i do to get in there and kind of dress that up so hopefully that will get them they'll be back tomorrow they're going to throw their own caps on and i don't know we'll kind of we'll kind of come back and revisit this one and see because like i said it's not probably wasn't the best way to kind of just bump it back with the excavator bucket and rubber mallets but we got it done it's straightened back up and it's holding now so we are going to load up for this evening and hit it again tomorrow